welcome welcome to Kamal Moon Boy channel and subscribe my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button and click on this bell icon to be updated with my latest videos every time I upload it. Welcome welcome to Kamar Moon Boy channel and this is Sheikh Kamaruddin. Today in ETAPS 2016 tutorial I am going to show you how to uh, create a tapered section in ETAPS 2016 and how to use that tapered section and where it is useful. So let's start our video. We'll start with a new model. We'll start uh, with our Indian customary units. We'll take only two floors, let us see a truss model. Let us start with the grid only. Okay. Let, let me directly show you how to create a, ta a tapered section. Just to define, go to define and section properties with frame sections. In this, uh, I am going to remove all the properties here. Go to add new property and add a steel section. Let us add a material India steel three forty five. Okay. So we will keep uh, the flange width and the flange uh, thickness same and we will reduce the depth uh, for two different sections and we will connect it let us keep this as uh, 500 and this as uh, yeah, 250 only same thickness 25 mm this is 13 mm thickness so, yeah let it be this is one of the section as per IS uh, section we can add our own and uh, write the name as here uh, I section as uh, it is uh, I section of uh, 500 let us add I 500 then we will uh, tap out this section to uh, 300 mm depth so we will create another section let us click on OK and we will delete these two properties. Uh, yeah. Then we will add a copy of this property, same, and we will just uh, uh, change this depth to 300. And here. And this section will be I300. Okay. Press on. Then we will join this two section and create a auto section that will be a tapered section. For that, go to add new property.
here in the special we have an option called non prismatic section click on that so here you can see non prismatic section click on that so i can write here the tapered section So this is tapered eye section. It is a non prismatic. So now, as of now, in the start of the section, I three hundred is taken, and uh, end of the section is also I three hundred. So it is a linear section. Now we have to make it a non prismatic. It is a prismatic section now. So the first section I will select it here, I five hundred, and the second section I will select it here, I three hundred, and uh, the length type is proportional. and this is variation is parabolic and linear so as you can see now the section has been changed uh, from left to right you can see that it is uh, more in depth and it is less in depth at the other joint that is j joint this is i joint this is j joint so this tapered section is created now after drawing this section on the on the member section as a beam we will see how it shows on the screen okay so tapered one is created so let us draw a uh, two column of i 500 die sections I five hundred. Here and here. Then we will add a beam of the tapered section from here to here. and we will start from here and end it here now now if we go to rendered view then we can see it the proper section or we can on the extrude shell frames extrude frames apply okay now you can see that the, how the tapered section is joined so now you can see this uh, this is 500 i 500 this is i 300 and uh, it is joined properly like this you can create a uh, truss section which is consist of tapered section also you can create a concrete tapered section for concrete columns and concrete beams uh, which, which are tapered in uh, nature so you can create as much as possible the possibility is uh, made under non prismatic section option in the special sections so this is how you can create the tapered section in etaps 2016 thank you for watching this video and making up to the end you can subscribe like this video and share this uh, video with your friends so that they also have the benefit of learning this etaps 2016 thank you so much for watching bye bye take care